Good morning, this is Rob from Next Truck Sales. I wanna take this opportunity and introduce you to our 2019 Coronado Glider. This truck features a 14 liter Detroit Series 60 at 550 horsepower and 1850 torque. You heard that correctly. This is a Detroit Series 60 at 550, factory 550, 1850 torque. The reason why it's higher than usual is because this is a pre-emission, pre-EGR engine, and the pre-EGR engine is a higher horsepower. It works uh, works better without the EGR in the equation. Uh, Glider is a brand new truck built at the Freightliner factory. This particular truck had the uh, Detroit Series 60 installed at the factory. It's a reman unit, recycled serial number from another truck that had the Series 60, and then we have uh, 13 speed remanufactured and axles remanufactured. So remanufactured powertrain, brand new truck. This one here is in great condition. I'll show you some of the features of the truck and some of the things that we've done. Nice truck, ready to go to work. So let's let's get started here. Take a look here. It's got a LE Arc moose bumper. I'll open that up and get you a look at the hood right away. So that just unscrews like so loosens it off and then you have a pin now normally what you'll do i've loosened these pre-loosened these off but to tighten them up normally you have this pin here and you're going to use that pin to tighten them down right so you're going to you're going to stick that in there and then you'll crank it tight or loose okay for the purpose of this video obviously i'm not going to do that so there you have it so you've got your bumper like that you can put an original chrome bumper back on there if you so wish uh, let's have a look here under the hood i'll get it open i've got a nice emerald green color here brand new toyo steering tires and brand new drive tires as well so this style coronado was made up until i believe it was the end of it was at least through 2007 maybe through through 2010 i don't remember when they discontinued this model but um they now have a 122 sd which has emissions this one here is a series 60 pre-emission you'll see there's no egr pipe on this one uh, let's have a look here so you'll see where are we hiding tested at 550 horse okay and it was remanufactured in hard to tell on the date I think it says 2018. So 2018 engine remanufactured. Uh, we haven't put it through the shop mechanically. We're gonna save doing the DOT inspection and safety for when the truck is sold and ready to go to someone. Let's have a look here. We got a, some brand new Toyo steering tires. You can see that we've sandblasted and painted the frame. Uh, we've got drum brakes up on drum brakes up on the front. Okay, everything on this truck was brand new in 2018 when this truck was built. Okay, gliders are brand new trucks. They just can't use emission control uh, or actually you recycle the powertrain is, is what we're going to do here. So have a look. Spring suspension. This is a 12,000 pound front. It's actually slightly lighter because you don't have the weight of all the after treatment that you'd normally find on the newer trucks. Uh, we'll get this running in just a minute. 11R22.5 polished aluminum steers. Uh, this one here has dual 150 gallon tanks. A little bit of a couple of scratches over there. Um, and part of the thing is, if you, you'll see a lot of the Coronados, they'll have 265 wheelbase and they'll have the toolbox in that gap. This one here is a 244. So you don't have that toolbox back there, which in my opinion, maybe takes up space. And I mean, you, you do have a toolbox there and how much, do you need to carry in the way of tools a uh, little bit of body damage here if you look you'll see looks like something bounced up there and kind of there and i think i saw a little scuff on the front here so maybe some sort of a side swipe uh overall though cosmetically real nice color okay this is a, essentially a columbia sleeper it's a 70 inch high rise i'll go in that in a minute it's very similar to a columbia or a century class uh truck on the inside aluminum cab which is good brand new drive tires these are 11 r 225s offshore aluminum wheels on the outside and 
aluminum wheels on the inside on this one. I think the other one we had was steel wheels on the inside. Brand new mud flap hangers, airliner, 40,000 pound rear suspension, drum brakes. So this is a remanufactured axle and it's a full locking. So that locks there. I'll take you up front here. You can see we have two more locks on this inner axle. So you see you got one lock there and then one lock down below. Holland 3500, three foot slider. Okay, more brand new tires, another 150 gallon tank. Uh, you'll notice that the exhaust here is non-existent. It looks like it points down. It's probably got a muffler, if you remember having mufflers on trucks. Let's see what we got here. So you can see that we've got your muffler is over there. Okay, there is again no DPF on this bad boy. My apologies, the mufflers there, dual stacks, my bad. They're connected, but you've got mufflers on them. Let's go around this side, get a look. So you're back in the cab, pretty decent shape, couple of scuffs and scratches, but aluminum cab, so it doesn't rust through like some of the newer trucks. My biggest complaint on these trucks when you look at them is these chrome pieces tend to corrode. It really bothers me and they all seem to do it. And the chrome bits are expensive, so most people don't replace them. Let's have a look inside of here. Get that door open. Okay, so we've got full pass through. Bunk heater is right inside of there. Okay, need to put a fire extinguisher in this one. Uh, fairings are, fairing extenders are in good shape. Let's take a quick look inside. I'm gonna get it started. There we go, nice, nice familiar noise of the Series 60. So we've got full locking differentials. You can see we've got inner axle, sliding fifth wheel, and then two traction control diffs, and then we got suspension dump and fifth wheel. We've got Bluetooth, which is great. Again, brand new truck in 2018, right? So we're getting some of the newer features like Bluetooth on this truck that didn't exist back when the original Series 60 was around. Power locks, mirrors, windows, heated mirrors somewhere hiding in here. Okay, full wall lighting. Uh, we've got an upgraded door panel. This door panel is unique to the Coronado. Okay, the old Coronado door panels look like century door panels, kind of cheap. Full complement of gauges. Take note, no DEF or DPF gauges on this one. No regen button. This truck is fully legal in all states and provinces, except California, where they don't allow anything to be driven on the roads that doesn't have a 2011 or newer engine. Okay, so if you have a look here, all the gauges are in Imperial. This one here, the Speedo, miles are orange, kilometers are white. Want to take, take note here, this truck is sitting in my yard in Canada, and our price includes delivery to Buffalo if you're watching this video and you happen to be in the US. Our price also includes a temporary trip permit and conversion of the title from Canada to USA. There's a nice seat. That's a genuine leather legacy seat. Wow, that's nice. Uh, refrigerator. We'll put in the mattress when the truck is sold. Full cabinetry. Let's have a look here. So we've got full cabinets in there. This does not pull out. Okay, we've got storage there for something. Don't see straps. I'm not sure what you can put up there that would actually stay put. Okay, so we've got strap there so you can put a microwave. Over here we've got a fridge. Okay, it uh, appears to be off. That's good. We've got a writing table and a pull-out drawer here. This one, if you take note, oh, this one, I knocked that off the other day. This sticks out in here somehow. I'm not going to deal with that at the moment. Step to get up to your second bunk. Carpet and rubber. Looks like a cigarette burning in the floor, although I... This does not smell like a smoker truck, so I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, okay, so we've got a clothes hanger up top, way at the back, or is that a clothes hanger? I'm not sure. 
Close finger of any goes in there. Okay, we've got a couple of pockets. Upholstered, fully upholstered walls, button tuck. Okay, so we've got a vent here, a vent there, and then we've got our bunk heater. Okay, and we'll pop this up and have a look underneath. Uh, where's the handle? There we go. Okay, full pass through. These are dividers, so these dividers just kind of sit in here, like so. Leave them in or take them out. Okay, and your factory HVAC is there. Uh, power inverter connection is there. I don't see the power inverter on this truck. Where is it hiding? Has it been removed? Not sure. Don't see the inverter. Not sure. Hiding over here. No. Okay. Secure storage up top here. Okay, we got our books, old curtains, CB mount. Nice truck. This truck overall, really super clean when you look at what we've got here. Charging good, oil pressure is good. 50 pounds. I'm going to take you outside to the truck. I'm going to let you have a listen to it running. And I'm going to take off the oil filler cap. See what kind of blow by is coming out. Series 60s tend to have more than most. That's just a way that they are. So let's have a look though and see. Coronado glider 14 liter 550 horse 1850 torque 13 speed manual full locking diffs if you have any questions about this truck or any other truck that we have you can feel free to give us a call 844-489-8789 it's Rob at Next Truck Sales I hope you hear from the same and bye for now